Hello my lovelies, I'm Liv and this is Prolific Paper. If you're new to my channel, I make planner videos. So I started off using my monthly layout as a guide for my bullet journal design. So I started uh, tearing up my papers in my Happy Planner last year and I really liked it. Um, I think I just started with the brown craft paper and I wanted to try with some other different colours and you know I had these origami papers that I bought in Daiso and I never really used them and I thought well you know Sometimes I would use some patterned paper, scrapbook paper, but this is a cheaper way, I guess, of creating layout. And it's fun and colorful and exciting and you can just decorate it with stickers and yeah. So I bought a few planner stamps and I wanted to use them and I never really use this summer stamp and I thought I might as well use my new craft ink that I got free with the stickers that I, I mean the stamps that I ordered online. So the sticker book that I'm using for this layout is the same as the monthly spread which is uh, the Skins Summer Sticker Book Collection. Luckily I bought more than one, one of those sticker books because uh, some of the stickers like the girls um, because I had the girls lying on the sand and bathing in the sea, the one in the donut ring and luckily I bought more than one sticker book because I ran out of those particular stickers. Um, <laughs> yeah. I added a few more different stickers uh, than I did with my monthly spread. So in my monthly, you did not see the sloth with the surfboard, but I thought he was so cute. It's like, oh, I can stick him right there. It's like, hey dudes, I'm going surfing after you've been in the sea, surfing away, <laughs> you, you need to cool off, you need an ice cream. So I thought, hmm, I can have some palm trees, a little cool off area, and I found this cute unicorn eating ice cream. Oh, so cute. So I put him hiding behind the palm trees. I thought I can have some music going on, a drink stand. So this is the cool off area. Uh, what else can we add? We can add like um, some signs. Like, you know, when you go to the shops and there's loads of signs. And I thought, oh, it's perfect. Let's do this today. And then we have a mermaid drinking drinking her smoothie or his smoothie on a summer's day and then I realized that I accidentally smudged my stamp oh. so uh, I I should have put some paper down uh, to make sure that it was dry I don't know if it was the ink or the origami paper or just my general clumb clumsiness, just in that top left hand corner with my thumb always. Ugh. And then I thought I'd add some kind of quote or something and I saw this sunshine, seashells and popsicles just to add a little bit more of something and 
because it said seashells. I thought, oh, I have some seashells in my Rosie's sticker book. So I did a seashell and starfish, but I felt it didn't quite go together exactly. Um, but this sign, here we go, I felt like it went with <laughs> the green, pink and yellow a little bit more. I just wanted to add more stickers, that's what it was. <laughs> So as the summer stamp was quite small, I wanted to use the August smaller stamp rather than the larger stamp to kind of match that font size. And I switched back to my Versafine Onyx Black ink because it's just my safety <laughs> black ink. It's so crisp and sharp and sticky. And then I just, uh, I wasn't too sure at first how many monthly stamps I should stamp down. But then in the end, I noticed that I had a lot of habits that I wanted to track. So I thought, hmm, should I put it on the right hand page or should I just leave it for notes? And I was like, hmm, sod it. Let me just put everything on one page so it's easier. When I flick to that page, it's so pretty. So I just went ahead and stamped away the whole page. And I should have folded <laughs> this down before I stamped that side because I'm coming to the end of this notebook. It's pretty full now. I only started it in June, so it went quite quickly, but it was a cheap notebook. It's somewhere to get started. I just made sure that the ink was dry before I ended ended touching it anymore. And there you have it. That's my pretty layout, yay! <laughs> and so I went through and made a list of all the habits that I was tracking in my previous months and what I could fit into this layout. So at first I was going to write down all my cleaning habits that I wanted to track, but I ended up um, using the left side for my exercise and self-care. And on the right hand side, I used it for my social media. So a lot of the time we sometimes forget about ourselves. So that's why I wanted to include the self-care uh, regime, things like taking a bath and just taking some time for yourself you know just pampering yourself a little bit making yourself feel better because I always feel better after a bath um, and then also making sure that I'm exercising so taking care of my body pruning my body as well and on the right hand side uh, trying to accomplish uh, some of the things that I want to do for myself so that's uh, doing my planner videos over on YouTube and so I would have to film it, edit, publish it and then promote it either on Twitter, Pinterest, my blog <laughs> uh, which is prolificpaper.blogspot.com or Instagram which is at pp.prolificpaper
anyway let me know uh what you track in your habit tracker or should i say bullet journal right thanks for watching bye see you in the next video Thank you.